Hi, my name's Eric and I'm the DIY Dad. And today we're going to declutter. Not a crafty bone in this body. It's always good to start the new year off with a fresh, clean slate. Yep. In a house with three kids that play hard and make messes constantly, it gets pretty hard to stay on top of everything and before long, the house is in shambles. So I found this fun little DIY craft slash game that really gets the kids involved in helping declutter and keep everything organized. So here's a list of all of the items that you're going to need for this fun DIY. You're going to need ping pong balls, preferably a light color because you're going to be writing on them. Of course, a marker or a sharpie to write on the balls, a bowl or basket or any type of container to hold the balls, and then either a chalkboard or a marker board or even a piece of paper, something so that you can keep score. So the whole premise of this project is to really get the kids involved in helping out around the house to make life easier for mom and dad. So what you wanna do is you're gonna take a ping pong ball and you're gonna take your marker and you're gonna write down chores or little tasks that the kids can do that are simple and quick and easy for them to get involved and help clean the place up and declutter everything. So what does declutter mean? That's really helpful. Bean, what does declutter mean? Dad, clean up, pick up where you, I don't really Pick up know. after yourself, stay organized, yes. stuff like that. Okay, yes. what do you think is a good task that we can put on one of these balls? You don't need to do cleaning up things. I think you're missing the point. Like we totally need to declutter our house, right? Yeah. Okay, that's your first problem. Okay. Make sure your kids understand what decluttering means. Clean up the playroom. Clean up the playroom? Let's, yeah. maybe something that's quick. So clean up 10 toys in the playroom? Yeah. Perfect. And then you drop it in the bin. Good job. Barry, what's a good task that we can put on here? Clean up Bo Baby's toys. Clean up Bo Baby's toys, because we know he's not doing it himself. <laughs> yeah. Bean, you want to write one? Yeah. What are you going to write? Dust statues. Dust the statues. Dust the statues? Perfect. Yeah. Barry girl, do you want to write one? Mm -hmm. What are you going to write? I'm going to write, put the baby to sleep. Put, put the baby to sleep. Yeah, by all means, take that. That's sure. Perfect. But I don't know how to write. I don't know how to. Once you have your basket full of tasks and jobs for the kids, then you want to write down the names for your scoreboard. So now we have our names written on the chalkboard and this is how we're going to keep score. So here is how you play the game. So you're going to set a timer for 30 minutes. Then the kids are going to take one task at a time from the bin and complete that task. As soon as one is completed, they'll come back and grab another task. Once the 30 minutes is up, whoever completed the most tasks in that time wins. This game was so much fun. The kids had a ton of fun. They were really engaged. They liked that it was time. They liked that they could beat the other person. It was really a good way to get them involved and engaged in helping you declutter and keep the house clean. A couple of things that you may want to do to change the game up, maybe use different color balls for different aged kids. You can always color code the balls by level of how intense the task may be. Or you might want to add maybe a dollar amount to the tasks. I don't think that is a good idea to to do the game. You don't want to earn money? No. I don't want to. Leave us a comment and let us know what you do around your house with the little ones to keep things straight and organized and decluttered. Subscribe to Baby Me. We'll see you guys next week for another DIY Dad. Bye! Bye.